Okay, today you are going to learn how to make your Trojan virus and make it 100% detectable. So this is what you do. You first need to download Poison Ivy. Now you go here to poisonivy-rat.com. Uh, then you go to downloads and you download the latest version here. They also have plugins so you can add on to it as such as a Wi-Fi scanner, a remote port scanner, and an optic screen capture so you can see what they're doing. So once you have that, you go into here and you go file new client. See, you need a port open, so where you go is you need to go to here and hold on, let me open up a new tab. Type in 192.168.1.1. Uh, default is usually admin and then password one. So once you get in there, yeah. Uh, mine is like this. Uh, this I have a Verizon uh, router, so each router is different. But basically what you're looking for is something called port forwarding. And then when you open the port, um, make sure the destination port is 3460 and the source port is any. Uh, you might want to open up both TCP and UDP. I wasn't sure which one to open, so I just opened up both. Um, so yeah, now that you have that, you have your port open, right? So I, I have my port open here. So what you do, as you go file new server, you go create profile, let's call it noob. Uh, go in here and you type in, uh, see this is where actually no IP comes in handy so that they cannot trace your IP. Um, so you go here to no IP, you make a uh, server, whatever, this is, oh, hold on. <laughs> uh, you make um, so you you make the name of whatever you want it to be like uh, a little smoky and whatever but I already have one and then at the end you go here and I have one <laughs> go in here and see there's mine right there uh, so once you have that you go into here and you go type in your address there um, this is if you want to connect through a proxy which is even better if you don't want them to detect you but let's keep it simple for now uh, you want a startup system okay so you want it to something that would you know kinda look like it was actually running with Windows so I do something like this. Uh, melt, of course. Now the file name, I guess you can keep it the same name. But you have to make sure you put that .exe at the end there. Um, here. Inject into a default browser, of course. This, if you do this, it's more likely to get detected by an antivirus because it would be injecting into a running process. And like, Keylogger, so you can see what they're typing, where they've been. You can give it an icon. I don't have any icons made right now, so I just keep it simple. So you go, oh, you're gonna need that. Click that a couple times. Uh, so you go here, generate into desktop. Uh, when let's see. Um. All right, so the next step of this were, is to, uh, you're gonna need to download a cryptor. I'm using a cryptor called Obsidian. You can Google that, that one's not that hard to find at all, actually. Uh, I have it here somewhere. But uh, Obsidian is a cryptor, it costs money to get, yeah, I know, but uh, I have the demo version. The demo version just works as, just as well, but there's only one problem, and that is when they turn on their computer, every time they'll get an error saying that it's copyrighted by Obsidian and they need to afford a license and some crap like that. So what you need to go here, let's go here. I sent one, and I told them it was a McAfee update. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, let's go my cafe. Um, so uh, now you just go down to here, make this 2048 bits, go to executables, go add, go into here, go into the desktop, click on this, go OK. Uh, now this is the output directory. And um, I have mine going. Oh, I'll just make it go to my documents. Okay. Um, now you click on that, exit out of this, and go in here. And this is your Trojan virus. Now, when it is on Obsidian, I do not recommend that you ever launch it on yourself to see if it works. You might want to test it on a friend because it'll be easier to um, remove it off their computer through Poison Ivy. Um, I can show you what I mean when you have it without Obsidian. Uh, this is without Obsidian. Uh, you can go in here and uh, you go in here, see it's noob, and you can go uninstall. But with when it's crypto with Obsidian, I've just had horrible experiences. Like it backed up through the router, affected everyone in the house, and I'm not sure. Like I think it was because we were all on a local area network or something. I'm not sure what went wrong, but it backed up and it, it took a lot um, to get it back every everybody's computer back to normal. So once they do open it though, this is what you can do. You can go through their files. Um, this is like what I have in my computer. Uh, you can go into their process processes and you can just stop things from running. Uh, you can go into their see their services and you can stop things from automatically turning on such as their antivirus um, So when they turn on the computer the antivirus will automatically run um, So you can remove their drivers. Let's say you don't want their mouse to work anymore you can uninstall their driver for it or you know go in here and like mess with around with their screen turn off their screen um, you can look at their installed applications. Uh, these are all my installed applications. Uh, this is for the console. Uh, this is for all the ports that they have open. Uh, relay, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Uh, this right here. This is a. This is when you automatically save your password to your browser. You know how it asks you. Uh, would you like to see me to remember the password whatever uh, this is you know whatever this is the all the users on the thing uh, this is when it's connected to a wireless but I'm not connected to wireless I'm connected to a LAN now keylogger uh, I'll show you what keylogger does right now so I go accessories let's say I go into notepad I type hello world oh pff, world uh, I exit of that now. Now when I go refresh, it'll say I went to Notepad. I didn't even save it, and uh, I typed hello. Then I entered. Then I went back up in Backspace and the D to finish it. I can audio capture. So uh, this is my device I'm using to talk to you guys right now, uh, and I can record the person on the other side, and I can hear everything that's going on. This is screen capture so I can uh, see the person's screen uh, this is webcam so if they have a webcam I can see them I don't have a webcam so it's not gonna work for me uh, and yeah and if you ever want to upload anything you can just go into the files here and you go uh, let's see where is it um, oh yeah that's right you have to go into something else like yeah, I don't know you just drag and drop it you'll figure it out whatever just mess around with it you'll get used to it and you can find out anything and tear apart their system if let's say you want to find a steam account there you go uh, it pretty much gives it to you um, so that's it that's my tutorial thanks bye